guys, thanks for joining me. I thought I'd share with you today the different ways in which to pitch a lavu, different techniques, and I'll explain, you know, why you'd pitch it this way. So the things I bought with me, guys, and that's what I'm going to use to to show you the different methods. So I've got the silky saw, my small forest axe, my knife, some paracord and a sturdy ridge line and the walking pole so the first setup I'm going to show you is the setup that I always use and I find it most convenient because I always carry my walking pole so we'll go through that one first So I've roughly pegged the lavu in most of the pegging points. These are the pegs that I bought in. And now I'm just going to get the middle walking pole. I'm going to get the walking pole and place it in the middle of the lavu. So I adjust the walking pole. I know roughly the settings. So that's pretty much it guys and then once that middle pole's in you can walk around and, and get the adjustment and obviously I can shut the door just move the front pegs over close that door in but it's very rare I have the door completely shut and there she is so that's the most convenient way of setting it up and it doesn't take long you know if you're willing to carry your pegs and your pole I'm just gonna neaten the top off this is where it's going to sit on the material. You don't have to do this. You could use, you could use um, some moss or a piece of clothing, whatever you've got with you, just to eliminate them sharp edges. Take me pole out now. Should be roughly the same height, pretty much. And now I use what Mother Nature supplied us with. It's the same system again. There's two loops, two pockets under here. So I'll just tuck that in two pockets. This is a material over the top of the pole. So that's with a natural pole and if you left some bits on the pole, some spikies or whatever, you could hang your torch or whatever off of there, you could customise it how you'd like.
like I said, I like convenience. But you've, if you want to make pegs for it, you can. So all you need to bring is just the lavo. So uh, just, just the same job, but more natural. So the next method I'm gonna show you is you might not wanna have a pole in the center of the lavu. You might not like that idea or you might be struggling for space. So I'll show you the next system. It uh, eradicates that middle pole. So I've set that ridge line up now, guys, between the two trees. That's about top of my head height. I made it really nice and taut. Obviously it's got a little bit of flex in there. So as you can see, I've just bunched the material up there, tied that off. That's attached to the carabiner. The good thing about the, the carabiner is you can move it along the ridge line so you can position your, your lavu where you want it. Make sure your paracord is nice and tight because the weight of the lavu really stretches that, that uh, ridge line out, as you can see. But like I said, you don't need to use a, a carabiner, you could tie it off on a prusik loop. The advantages of that is no centre pole. It eliminates that, that centre pole, which is really good. So it gives you a lot more room to move around. Sometimes that pole is annoying. And also, you know, if it's really bad conditions, you can hang a tarp off that ridge line as well. So you're doubly protected, kind of double skin. So if you don't like the middle pole guys, ridge line's the way to go. So let's just say guys, you didn't want a centre pole in the lavu. There's no trees to tie a ridge line. And you thought, mm, what can I do now? And this is your solution. So no ridge line, just a simple tripod. No middle pole. So this is an awesome setup. I think this is a great setup for a more of a long term camp with the lavu. You know, like I said, as you can put a tarp or build an actual structure around the tripod so you'll be double insulated you know you could carry on with the poles and make a TP out of TP so there's a lot of possibilities with doing this configuration brilliant for a really hard winter setup So I'd, I'd like to do this one day, you know, a real hard winter camp with an outer structure built around the lavu. So that's how you support it. No pole and no trees with no ridge line. So 
hope you're finding this video useful guys you know I really wanted to share it with you you know it's been on my mind I find it really interesting what you can do with this this great piece of equipment and also if you've got any great ideas with the Lavu you know give us a shout I know people have customized them all you know and added bits on and windows and ground sheets but you know if you own a basic Lavu like I do these are great configurations how to set it up the different scenarios oh sun's out right I want to get a drink of water and then I'll show you the final the final setup of course thirsty work this uh, Lavu lock As you can see guys, it's great without that pole. So if you're thinking of doing this system guys, these are the poles, or the length of the poles you'll need. Try and get it in perspective. So I'm five foot eight. So I'd say you need seven foot poles. So what I'm going to do now is do the last system. I'm going to cut them poles down and I'm going to make a, <clears throat> an inner tripod which will be really effective for really windy conditions. You know, it gives that, the Lavu a lot more support than just a centre pole. So the, it can take a lot more abuse. So this is the final great thing, this is another configuration before I wrap this video up that I love about this uh, this tent. If you can see there's a centre line of buttons which brings the two halves together so I'm going to unbutton them now and show you how easy this next setup is. Now the Lavu's the two halves, two pieces of material. So a few people have asked me about this. And this becomes another setup for the Lavu, which becomes a poncho. So you haven't got time to set it up or you're on a walk. You've got two of these. So that don't look too bad. But if you did get caught short and you had to hunker down near a tree. That's pretty good. Obviously you can button all this front section up. That's a good length. What a great versatile piece of kit. So, thanks for watching guys. And I uh, hope I've explained everything well to you. Whew. Got a jacket under here as well, so. But that's nice, that's really nice. Anyway, so thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the great outdoors. Go out there and if you've got a Lavu, practice one of these. You know, I like going out and messing around, see what you can do. And uh, have a go at a tripod as well. Uh, so, thanks for watching. And thanks to all my subscribers, all the messages. Been great. And see you on the next one. Enjoy the great outdoors, guys. Looking good. I might wear this to a nightclub. <laughs>